Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to record your iPhone screen. So I've done this video a few times now, but I've, it's been a long time since I've done an updated one. And this one is for you guys who haven't really upgraded to iOS 11 or have the beta, or just you guys who just prefer iOS 10 and compared to iOS 11. So one of my previous videos, I showed you a way to record your iPhone screen. So you had to go ahead and download an app from a website. So you had to go to appvalley.vip. And then it would take you to this web page that you actually just kind of like installed an app. You see that? That's an app that you can install. A third party app store, I guess you could call it. And then you went ahead and installed your airshow. But there's an easier way to do that. So you go ahead and type in appvalley.vip again. So it's kind of like the same place that you get it, but it's just much easier. So you go ahead and type in appvalley.vip and then you go forward slash app. So that's when you type in and then it's kind of like an app store online so you don't have to download the app store and then the app so then you can go to, go to library and apps and when you scroll down you will find somewhere through all those apps you will find airshow as you can see here and then you just click on that and then you click on get and it will then start to install onto your device so it does take a while to install but not too long and this version is 0.6.1 version which has the recording options and some of these do not have the recording option. So once you go into the app you see it says untrusted enterprise developer. So what that basically means is that it's a third party app and Apple is very about their security and everything so they just want to make sure it's not a bad app they're downloading so you just go ahead go to general device management and then click on trust so once you've trusted the app you can go ahead and enter that very easily once you have entered the app and you've allowed it to send notifications and they give you their social medias once you click on that eye up top you will see that this is the 0.6.1 version that we want to use and then you can just start and use the app so how you do this is click on record and then go ahead and just name your clip. So I'm just going to go ahead and say test since this is just a test clip. Then you go to orientation. I recommend using portrait since that's what your phone is in. And the resolution, I'd recommend 1080p since that's the highest you can get. Then you click on next step, allow access to your microphone. And then swipe up, go to your control center, click on airplay mirroring and click on air show since that's going to allow it to record your iPhone screen. So once you've done that, just give it a few seconds and then it will start to record your iPhone screen just like that. Here is the test clip. I just went ahead and just went through it and do be advised, if you play this clip in your photo library and you forward to it too much and too fast, it will look glitchy. But still, if you import it into an editor, it will be fine. Okay, so now you have done with your screen recording. So now you can go ahead and go to recordings and you give a bunch of options. So play, open in or save to camera roll. I just save it to my camera roll and then it will just go ahead and stay there. But that is how to record your iPhone screen using Airshow 0.6.1. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give the video a big thumbs up. Comment down below any other methods that you have and what you think about this method and if it stops working just let me know in the comments down below and definitely subscribe i would really appreciate that i will see you guys in my next video be weird and be proud of it love you guys so much bye